Okay, so we just met Arnold and Gretel here in, where are we? White Oak Creek. White Oak Creek, thanks Arnold. And so they have a super cool camper that they are willing to show us that is really unique. We've not seen anything like this. So uh, we're gonna take a look at the new camp today with Arnold and Gretel. So the first thing about it is it's a, it's a camper that's made by the Amish up in Northeastern Ohio. And it's made totally differently. If you look at the top of the camper, there are no boxes or anything like that. All the heating comes from a fluid under the floor. And as we take you through the camper, you'll see what the differences are between most campers and our camper. This camper is 3,000 pounds. It has a 30 gallon ta uh, water tank, 18 gallon uh, gray water, and a 12 gallon uh, black water tank. We carry two propane tanks with the uh, on-demand hot water, the uh, radiant heat, and the two burner stove. It, uh, our propane, one, pro one tank of propane will go us roughly four months. Two outlets outside, the step is lit, and all the lights inside and out are uh, LED. We have access in here, and there's storage, but there's also uh, a battery disconnect switch. Up on the top we have two 100 watt solar panels. Under the bed there's a compartment there where we have four 12 volt batteries. All, this, all the uh, windows open upward mm -hmm. on the inside so it'll probably show you but there's shades that go up and a mosquito netting that comes down. Your air conditioner sits underneath the seat. That's one of the reasons you don't have it on there. It's pretty aerodynamic, so going down the road, it does travel well. Uh, this is a flush for your for your black water. You connect down there. We do have an outside shower here. In here, we have a where you connect the city water or fill up your 30-gallon tank. This is for internet there, and the power connect, which is 30 amp, antenna for your radio, which is built in, and in here is access to your, where your furnace, your furnace is in here, but also your controller and uh, your switches for your water. Come on in, because this is, this uh, camper was made by the Amish, um, so it's a whole different system yeah. than most of them. All right, uh, this is our camper. This is where we live. But it's so different from most, most of these are all fabric and everything. It's not all the plastic covers, etc., etc. We have a nice big sink here. We have a nice big kitchen area, S stove here. What size is the bed? It's, it's uh, queen size. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yeah, it's a queen size bed. Show me your fridge. It goes all the way back. Okay. So it has a lot more space than it looks. There's tons of storage in this camper. We have tons of drawers, closets, kitchen stuff, kitchen stuff. This is full of all more kitchen stuff. We have a closet here that's great. It's clothing and dishware and clothing and all just all kinds of stuff, but it's tons of stuff um, that goes well. And the lighting, I love the lighting, all the lighting along the edges here. If you want to go back and look at the bed, you can go. The bathroom is right here. It has a sink. It has a full shower. It has a uh, actually a door right now that's in. in uh, being fixed a little bit, but it has a, a, a thing, what do you call it? Shower curtain. Shower curtain. It mm -hmm. goes all the way around so it protects everything within it so you can use the shower. So you get it. in and then you pull the shower curtain around everything. All the way around. And then you take a shower inside. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And then if you look in here, you can see how beautifully they've lighted, mm -hmm. lighted in here. And then uh, this can be lowered. So it could be a bed for a, a, a child or something. Yeah. So there's another cushion here that if you need it, you know, for a third person, 
you can lower this and it'll come down to here and then there's a cushion that goes on it so there's an extra bed here uh, but it, I think the things for me that what I really impressed me were the fact that fabric I don't like the plastics of so many campers and I like the colors and um, I think it's just that you know it, it's it has a real homey side instead of a, a plastic side Arnold and Gretel are full-time RVers who live in this new camp. They have found comfort, quality, and all the luxuries of a larger camper in this teardrop. Thank you both for sharing this incredible camper with us.